what we got. <sighs> Gotta love plumbers. All right, that's all right. You can leave the. Uh, you you can, need a flashlight? No, you can leave it off. fairness generally the water does not leak out of the tank when you remove the supply line but if there's something wrong with the fill valve it could so to prevent myself from having a puddle to deal with I always empty it out I'm not removing the toilet or anything today I'm gonna work just the way it is and fix everything with the toilet right in the way cover so it slides over the valve but I don't want to just drill a hole and have it be in the wrong spot so I traced it out and I'm going to use a piece of paper that's the same size so if I mess it up I mess up the paper I'm just gonna hook up my hook my square to it and draw a line connecting those two marks that I made. So that exact spot is where the valve is coming through, and it's a half inch pipe. Plus, it's got the uh, the valve on it, which is probably you know maybe takes it up to about an inch. So we're, we're just gonna take out this section right here, which can be easily hidden with an escutcheon. We don't have one with us. An escutcheon is one of those little silver pieces. You can get them split, so you can pop it on afterwards, and it just covers the cut hole. Now we wanna make the hole as small as possible and still get it on there. So we're gonna pick the hole saw that's closest to this. But in the meantime, we're gonna cut this out. And this doesn't have to be exactly pretty. We're just gonna make sure it's in the right spot. Now these spring-loaded access panels require that one side of them 
um, the act the springs activated you have to push it against the wall and then the left side kind of sits in there so if this is in the wrong spot after that maneuver is made I'd rather it be in paper so we're just gonna cut this hole like this and we'll go back in and test that now and see how it fits Let's see, let's put this in here. And that's kind of where the access panel will sit. Covers all aspects of the hole, that's good. And we just gotta repair this. Looks like that's what we're going to do. Let's cut the access panel. Moment of truth. Come on down. Magnificent fit. Now we'll make a mark right here and down here. Look at that. That looks good. Somebody left a mess behind here. My knife of them. Let's see. The pieces still the screw. I gotta get out. I can get that out with that little stubble. Save me from going back to the truck. Did you know we're also on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok? We'd love for you to come find us over there. Just search for BHS19007.
pre-fill the seams. This is five minute mud. You're still gonna have to use tape. This is pre-fill them in preparation for the tape. So this is a Harbor Fake blower with their heater. It's the only blower I know that you can get a heater attachment for. So I had no choice but to use Harbor Fake for it, but that is gonna blow on that drywall and help cure it. I sent the homeowner to the Delran Home Depot, which is real close to here, to get an discussion. So after I put the cover plate on, I can put that chrome discussion on there and it'll look like the uh, like a finished product rather than a, a hole, a big hole like that. So, go out and check on Katana real quick. She's putting up a ceiling fan. How you making out? Uh, there she goes. Oh. This video is not about ceiling fans, so we're not gonna stay on this subject, but this is the first time Katana got to use this bucket which attaches to this Werner ladder and it's pretty helpful, isn't it? Oh yeah. All right. Yeah, so I left this in because this is what happens. Sometimes you can't help it. You oversee something. You're rushing along trying to get a job done, trying to get it done inside of a day, and you got other jobs going on in the house. You miss one little spot that's protruding a little bit, or the bubble forms after you walk away. It's not a big issue. Um, quite common in, in drywall repairs, and this is how you fix it. I left it in intentionally so you would see things aren't always smooth like you see on television. And then I'll fill that with some hot mud.
Clean it up. I gotta put a piece of trim in. Right there. 